homeowners associations. Love them or hate them, almost everyone has a strong opinion one way or the other, even people that don't own homes. We're talking about that now on Speaking Frankly. <laughs> My name is Frank Hunton, and I am a realtor with Hunton Properties and Keller Williams Realty Partners in Woodstock, Georgia, and this is Speaking Frankly. Homeowners associations have become more and more prevalent throughout the country. Millions of Americans live within communities such as these, but no two associations are exactly the same, so everyone's experience may differ. Well-run and organized associations can make for a highly enjoyable community. Ones that aren't so well-run can lead to more than their fair share of problems. Here are a few pros and cons of living in a community with an HOA. Pro number one is access to amenities. Many communities have pools, tennis courts, basketball courts, clubhouses, business centers, and other amenities available for their members' use. This can help homeowners save on the expenses associated with using these services elsewhere. And also, they're usually better maintained and less crowded than other local options. Number two is protection of property values. Under HOA rules, homeowners must get approval before making any structural or aesthetic changes to their homes. And there are usually also guidelines regarding decor and landscaping, where you can store your trash can or where you can park your car, all in an effort to keep the community looking more appealing. Pro number three is the quality of the neighborhood. Because certain rules are enforced, it can improve overall safety and quality of life in an HOA community. Expectations are put in place and everyone is held to the same standard of following the rules and regulations. Decisions are made to benefit the community as a whole and not the individual homeowners. Pro number four is dispute resolution. If neighbors have ongoing issues with barking dogs or loud music, on-street parking, or other such issues, the HOA can step in to help address the matter. They can either enforce specific rules or help the homeowners come to a mutually beneficial solution. Con number one are the costs involved. The price of HOA membership can vary greatly depending on the amenities included, the type of community we're talking about, and what part of the country you live in. According to the National Association of Realtors, the average fee is about two to $300 per month, but this can range from less than $50 per month to several thousand dollars in some areas. Con number two is homeowner limitations. While you may own your home, the HOA is gonna dictate what color you can paint it, what kind of fence you can have, and what your mailbox needs to look like. But usually these aren't big hindrances to most reasonable people. And besides, it'll keep your neighbor from painting their house bright purple or putting really strange planters in the front yard. Con number three is poor management. If board members are ill-equipped to run the HOA or not very knowledgeable in the decisions that they need to make, it can make for a pretty terrible experience. There are a lot of nuances to running an HOA and a lot of regulations that need to be followed. If your board finds themselves in this position, one solution is to hire a property management company to come in and help them turn the operations around. Now it's important to do your research on the community you plan on moving to, as well as on how the HOA works. Ask questions, review pertinent documents to see what you're getting yourself into and whether or not you can even live with the rules that are currently in place. Now my family and I, we live in an HOA community, but for the longest time we've counted not living in an HOA community as a must have for our next home. But I gotta tell you, after showing a lot of homes in non-HOA communities and seeing what people are capable of doing to their homes unchecked, we may have to reconsider that opinion. My name is Frank Hunton and I am a realtor with Hunton Properties and Keller Williams Realty Partners in Woodstock, Georgia. And this is Speaking Frankly. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, why not? Please do so now. Also, show us some love. Give us a thumbs up below. Leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. And share this with as many people as possible. We really do appreciate your support. Thank you.